The demonstration shown in this video is intended to provide an overview on cartridge replacement in the 3M Liquicell EXF 8x40 series membrane contactor. Prior to actual use of any 3M product, please read and understand the product installation and use instruction manual. The 3M Liquicell EXF 8x40 series membrane contactor contains a single cartridge approximately 40 inches in length. While 3M Liquicell EXF 8x40 series membrane contactors ship with cartridges installed, service may periodically require cartridge changeout. This video describes how to execute this process. Purchase of the tools kit for cartridge replacement is recommended. Required elements from this tool kit for 3M Liquicell EXF 8x40 cartridge changeout consists of the following. An end cap adapter. This is inserted into the end cap and fits into the cartridge's center tube. Two large O-rings. These are used to seal the cartridge to the housing. Three small O-rings. These are used to seal the end cap adapter to the end cap and membrane contactor cartridge. An end cap removal tool used to remove the end cap from the housing. And a cartridge removal tool used to extract and insert a cartridge. Be sure to wear nitrile or similar gloves during the entire changeout process. First, remove the retaining ring that holds the end cap in place by pulling outward on the tab until the retaining ring slips out of the groove located on the inside of the vessel. Set the retaining ring aside. Next, insert the end cap removal tool into the shell side NPT port of the end cap and slowly turn the handle clockwise. When the end cap becomes loose, remove from the housing. The cartridge will be visible. Set the end cap aside. Insert the cartridge removal tool into the cartridge center tube by positioning the knob on the cartridge removal tool into one of the slots in the center tube. Push the sliding lock forward and into the center tube to lock the tool in place. Firmly grip the cartridge removal tool and slide the cartridge out of the housing, stopping when enough of the cartridge is exposed to hold it with both hands. Pull the sliding lock on the cartridge removal tool backward to unlock it from the cartridge center tube. Extract the cartridge removal tool from the center tube and set aside. Slide the cartridge out of the vessel and set aside or discard consistent with local regulations. First, ensure the end cap O-ring is securely in its groove. Place a small O-ring onto the end of the end cap adapter that has a single groove. Then, insert this end into the end cap. Install two small O-rings into the grooves on the end of the end cap adapter exposed from the end cap. Apply a small volume of 50% water, 50% glycerin solution to the O-rings and the end cap adapter. Using a clean cloth, apply a thin coat of a 50% water, 50% glycerin solution to the entire inside surface area of the contactor. Remove the outer wrapping from a replacement cartridge. Install a large O-ring to one end of the cartridge. Ensure the O-ring is properly seated in its groove. Using a clean cloth, apply a thin coat of a 50% water 50% glycerin solution to the outside of the cartridge and the o-ring after it is in place. When applying this solution, care should be taken to avoid exposing the hollow fiber membranes which are uncovered at the end of the membrane contactor cartridge. To reduce contamination risk, replace gloves and using both hands, insert the cartridge into the contactor approximately three quarters of the way. 
Install a large O-ring to the end of the cartridge that is exposed from the contactor. Ensure the O-ring is properly seated in the groove. Using a clean cloth, apply a thin coat of a 50% water, 50% glycerin solution to the outside of the cartridge and the O-ring after it is in place. Again, when applying the solution, care should be taken to avoid exposing the hollow fiber membranes, which are uncovered at the end of the membrane contactor cartridge. To reduce contamination risk, replace gloves again. Insert the assembled end cap, end cap adapter assembly into the end of the cartridge exposed from the membrane contactor. Slide the cartridge into the contactor until it passes the groove on the inner wall of the contactor. Insert the retaining ring into the groove on the inner wall of the contactor, ensuring that it is flat and even. If more specific detail regarding any part of this video is required, please contact 3M SPSD Technical Support.